Our right, next film review is the new film called Civil War. It's rated R with a one time of one hour and 49 minutes. Uh, it is playing in IMAX screens as well as Dolby Cinema as well as regular movie theaters screens. Um, it's about a journey across a dystopia future. America follow a team of military and bad journalists as they race against Time to reach DC before rebel fractions descend upon the White House. It's directed by Alec Garland. It stars Kristen Dunst, Ragger Mora, and Callie Spani. And this, let me tell you, this was a very powerful, powerful motion picture. And let's be honest, with the way that the war is going to now, how it's such divided because of, I will go political because of the previous idiot that we had in in uh, the White House. Uh, this could be us in two years, but overall the movie is very powerful. The acting was great, and it, uh, this is a drama. Um, this could show you how stuff could get crazy in in our home, in our country. Um, the director did a great job of showing it behind the p photographer's lens. Because this is more you follow, it's like a, a wartime road trip for these photographers. And you see what they see. And how they are immune, some of them are immune to the death of violence they see around us. Because they've been in it so much, it's, it doesn't phase them. And then you see how the country is divided. I mean, this is some very powerful powerful scenes in it that could really happen to us. I, let's be honest. You know, you know, we had a pandemic that killed over a million, two million people, uh, including my mom. And, you know, the country is not, you know, because of previous stuff, the country is not in a good place right now. And this movie, to be honest hits a nail on a coffin, and it hits a nail on a, a coffin, um, the director really shows you how, let's be honest, how it could, how it could be, um, especially up until the end, and it was a great ending, you know, I'm not going to write no stuff, because like I said, I, I'm trying not to be political, because I have views of, I have a lot of hate views towards the ex, I hate you like calling him president, but the ex. Um, but this director really made it, really made it, um, powerful. I mean, this is one of the most powerful film of this year. Um, definitely will be on the top ten. Definitely is a film you will be talking about when you see it. Um, and in IMAX, let me, let me tell you, uh, me and my girlfriend seen it in IMAX and... It was loud, but it was it was that type of loud that it just, you know, it gets silent, nice and silent, and then all of a sudden, bam, the rockets, the rockets, the rockets, the, the airplane flies over, the jet fighters flies over, and you feel it, the tanks driving past, and you feel it, um, from the opening scene to the very final scene, and during the credits, because there's some pictures during the credits, um, you want to see. Um, it just, it captivates you and pulls you in. It's a very, very violent film. It's a very emotional film and it's a very terrifying film all at once. And it's not even a horror film, but it makes you feel like it's a horror film because of what's going on in it. Um, it's definitely one film you don't want to miss. Um, it definitely one film is I think once you see it once, you talk about it and then you'll probably never see it again because of, of it. Um, Alex, Alex Garland did a great job of, of bringing the story to life, showing you his take on it. Uh, he's known for mostly like horror films, like 20 Days Later. He also known for ex, uh, Machina that he wrote them, um, films, um, as well, Men, Annihilation. So he, d he did another great job with this film. Um, it definitely should be on the top 10 when it comes for next year and probably definitely get some nomination for Oscar because it's powerful, it's emotional, um, great story, great acting, great cinematography, great everything. 
And if you are political and you do have a, a, a voice about stuff, you know, that's going on, you will be talking about this because my, my, my girlfriend thought we were going to get killed in the, in the auditorium because the way I talk about a particular person. Um, but overall, check it out. Let me know what you think. Comment below. It's called Civil War. It's rated R, one hour, 49 minutes. And hope to see you at the movies.